Hello everyone, this is a lesson on pecking. Um, we have an example here and then we're going to use this example to explain. But pecking basically is when you have a box and then you're picking fragile things inside the box. Uh, it's exactly that. In your question paper, they might give you different shapes of boxes or different shapes of things that you are going to pack inside. So let's look at this example. Okay, it says the box used to pack chocolates has internal dimensions of 25 centimeter by 20 centimeter by 15 centimeter. So I'm going to try and draw that box. Right, This big box is the one that you're going to pack in. It's not drawn up to scale. I didn't measure 20 centimeters and the others. So this is your length. Right? That's the first dimension. They say it's 25 centimeters. And then this is your width or your breadth. It's 20 centimeters. And your height is 15 centimeters. So this is the bigger box where you're going to pack inside. Then you have another small onion box. Each chocolate is placed in a paper case and is approximately 5 centimeter times 5 centimeter times 5 centimeter. So let's draw the small onion case that they put to pack the chocolates the case it's five centimeter by five centimeter your height is five centimeter and your breadth is five centimeter this is a cube five centimeter as well so they take these small boxes and pack in the bigger one and then ship them to shops to sell so we need to find out um how many let's look at a a says determine the number of chocolates that will fill on a single layer what are they asking us they are asking us at the bottom of the box how many chocolate can fill the bottom of the box so from here to there is 25 centimeters so how many five centimeters can you fit in a 25 centimeters so 25 that's your a 25 centimeters i'll divide that by five centimeters then 25 divided by 5 will be 5 it means across here i'll have five boxes one two three four and the fifth one there'll be five boxes that goes across like that right and then how many will go across it means you'll have one row of five boxes across like that how many will go across like that it's 20 centimeters 20 centimeters divided by 5 centimeters it will be 4 so in the bottom layer the total number of boxes will be i'll have five of them like that multiplied by four of them going across like that so it means in my lowest layer i'll have 20 boxes in total b how many layers of chocolates will fit in this box now layers we have one layer of 20 here how many layers would i have when i go up or my height it's 15 so for b it will be 15 centimeters but my box height it's five divided by five centimeters so i'll have three layers so i'll have three layers of 20 20 20 this we can see. see how many chocolates will fit in a box in this box how many chocolates will fit let's see chocolates we we'll have i have three rows multiplied by each row has 20 chocolates so in total i have 60 boxes of chocolate so when when you look at this question you just think about what that's nice about maths literacy is everyday maths think of what you are doing you know the boxes of chocolate you like chocolate so it's not like maths where you just have to think of x's and y this is real life maths you have to think about it and then find the correct answers this is the end of our lesson